Hi there guys, Jared Griffiths here and I'm going to review the movie Horse Feathers. Yes, directed by uh, Norman Z. McLeod and starring uh, the comedy team, the Marx Brothers, you know, Groucho Marx, uh, Harpo, Chico and Zeppo Marx, as well as Thelma Todd and David Landau. So this is basically about um, Professor uh, Quincy Adams, uh, Wigstaff, Wagstaff, who's um, played by Groucho Marx, he basically joins this college called uh, Huxley College, um, and he joins it because uh, his son Frank Wagstaff, who's um, uh, Zeppo Marx, um, he basically goes there to help his son come out of college because his son's been in there for 12 years, and I find it it's kind of weird that um, you know Groucho Marx is playing Zeppo's. Um, Father, because obviously in real life they were um, brothers, not father and son. So it's funny they're playing father and son in this. And uh, also we have um, uh, Chico Marx playing Barrowvelli, and uh, Harpo Marx is a uh, dog catcher in this called uh, Pinky, the same name as in um, uh, Duck Soup, actually. And uh, we have Thelma Todd as the um, love interest in this film rather than um, Margaret Dumont and uh, Thelma Todd was also in um, Monkey Business and uh, basically uh, this film is mostly about uh, basically uh, them playing um, American football in the uh, college against a, another college called um, Darwin and uh, basically this film I think this is so funny I mean I, mean, I love um, you know, seeing these characters in uh, college, um, you know, the Marx Brothers, you know, except for Zeppo, Zeppo's kind of the, kind of the normal one. Um, I love how um, basically the Marx Brothers, apart from Zeppo, are just an absolute nuisance in the college, and, you know, uh, I love, um, you know, uh, the, uh, I love Groucho Marx in this, he's always so great. Um, He's kind of this um, douchebag in all the uh, films. And uh, one of my favourite scenes was the uh, password scene. Um, uh, yeah, that is just so funny. <laughs> it just makes me laugh all the time. And, um, and I, I like the line, another line from uh, Groucho. was uh, Baravelli, you have the brain of a four-year-old child, and I bet he was glad to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, this one... Uh, Zeppo has a bit more of a role in this than, um, you know, usual. Um, you know, this and Monkey Business, he only really has a role. Uh, usually, uh, he was always um, Groucho's sort of sidekick. But, uh, yeah, you know, Groucho, you know, Zeppo's fine, but it's, it's uh, you know, the main three, you know, um, you know, Groucho, you know, you see, like, you know, Groucho, uh, Chico and Harpo, you know, Zeppo was kind of like the, just the other one, um, and you know that's why it worked out fine when uh, they got rid of him um, when they left um, uh, Paramount. You know, but you know he is uh, fine in this. Um, there's um, like all um, yeah. There's basically the all of them are basically in love with uh, the woman. Uh, Miss Bailey's played by uh, Thelma Todd, and uh, yeah, it's quite funny at the end when they're all uh, you know getting married to him, to her, well, all of them except for uh, you know Frank uh, Wagstaff, because in the movie he's a uh, you know uh, Professor Wagstaff's son, and there was a funny scene where um, when they were playing uh, the uh, American football and. Um, you know, um, um, Professor Wagstaff is basically giving giving them a confident, basically doing a motivational speech to them, and then um, their son Frank Wagstaff says, "Dad, you're talking to the wrong team." <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I don't really have an interest in sports, but I mean, this movie is you know just so funny as well. I mean, you know, I, you don't have to be interested in sports to you know like it. Um, and uh, uh, I love uh, when um, 
uh, basically Baravelli and Pinky are supposed to be uh, kidnapping uh, players from the other team and then they end up getting tied up as, as well yeah and the songs in it you know they are also very uh, catchy uh, yeah I <coughs> yeah yeah Oh, uh, he's gonna my show. Yeah, like stuff like that. Um, I can't remember them that well, but um, yeah, they. I do remember them being uh, quite catchy. You know, when they're on, and then they kind of fade away uh, later on. <clears throat> yeah, but um, yeah, this is a very uh, funny film. Uh, not the Marx Brothers' best film, but um, is a good one, and uh, yeah, it's a good one to check out and. Uh, Probably my favourite Marx Brothers film was uh, Duck Soup, and uh, that was my first Marx Brothers review. And I'd like to give a shout out to uh, my first Marx Brothers review is when I got my first subscriber. Um, he commented on that video. It was when he first discovered me, um, and uh, he was actually one of the people who um, inspired me to make movie reviews because he reviewed you know old school uh, movies, the uh, sort of films I like. So I thought I'd give it a try so i'll leave a link his it's um r and b reviews um i'll leave a link to his uh, playlist the classics and he's reviewed some marx brothers films as well um all his reviews of the marx brothers films have marx brothers in the title so uh, yeah check that out you know he does really good uh, reviews of their films and he knows a lot about them so yeah um, yeah check it out um horse Horse Feathers, great film, and yeah, bye.